Welcome to Junction City Today. I'm your host, Janae Francis, and I'm here with Bryn Hill. How you doing? I'm doing great. And we're in the Utah Western Heritage and Cowboy Museum. And if you come to Bren Hill's concert coming up on July 16th, you'll be able to help raise money to support this museum. Isn't that great? Oh, this is a great place. This is something. I This is a gem. I didn't know it was here. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is worth coming down here. This is something. So we'd like to expand this museum and add some different features. And that'll be one of the things that we'll be raising money for. So tell us about this concert coming up on July 16th. You know, it's going to be a blast. Cowboy Christmas in July. I wish I could claim credit for that idea, but it wasn't my idea. But I think it's a fantastic idea. It just so happens that I'm making a Christmas record as we speak for release later this year. So got a bunch of new stuff. My part, Andy Nelson from Pinedale, uh, Wyoming, uh, cowboy poet, humorist, and we do a great show together and it's going to be a blast. Yeah. That sounds great. So we'll be able to hear some songs that nobody's he heard before then. Exactly. Yeah. Brand new stuff that I've written and recorded and stuff that Andy and I do together. And, and we do a Christmas show, you know, 10 or 12 times a December and it'll be fun to do it in July. You know, why not? Why not? Yeah, that sounds great. One thing that I like about you, Bren, is that your music has some real life stories in it. And I think that the reason that you're so able to tell those stories is that you've lived it. I, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, uh, I guess I'm just an overqualified wannabe cowboy, but I've, my heroes have always been cowboys and cowgirls. And I figured out early on that I was going to have to, you know, get out and do this stuff to really get it firsthand. And, and for some reason I do just get it. You know, I, I understand, I see that, see the world from that perspective. And, um, uh, you know, I have, I've tried to keep it authentic, but modern and contemporary, you know, for this period of time, there are people still out there ranching and putting food on our tables and, you know, making their living in the saddle. And a lot of them are my friends and, so I feel pretty fortunate to have been able to, to see this life firsthand and experience it. That's great. And it's so fun to hear the stories from people who have been there. One thing I also admire about you, too, is that you've been able to take some of your life challenges and turn them into some real authentic stories that tug at the heartstring. You know, when I, when I first started singing, my son went through cancer. I started singing at his bedside when he was fighting cancer and... That was therapeutic for me and I wrote those songs, you know, about that experience and then I figured out so many people have had similar experiences, you know, they've lost loved ones, their lives have been touched by, you know, life-threatening illness and and so yeah, it just it was a shoe that fit and uh, I just, you know, fortunately in the in the music industry, especially as a cowboy singer, life's always a challenge, so uh, there's no shortage of that to uh, draw upon, but uh, I I'm just fortunate to have met people who, who can, you know, who, who these songs resonate with. Well, that's great to know. And if you want to come see Bren Hill, you just have to go to a cowboychristmas.org and you can order your tickets today. There's two kinds of tickets. There's general admission and also some VIP tickets where you'll be able to have a reception with Bren right before the concert. So that should be super fun. Anything else you think we should know? You know, come to Union Station. This I, I've got me great memories of playing here. You know, that gathering that started here long ago, Bob Christensen put it on. We got a picture of Don Kennington here on the wall, one of our local legends who's, who's since passed away. But uh, I have so many fond memories of being with those guys and, and playing with them here. This is a great piece of history here in Ogden. And uh, come check out this museum. I'm going to spend about an hour here. Thank you, and thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. We'll leave you now with a new song Bren Hill wrote, A Cowgirl for Christmas. I want a cowgirl for Christmas in skin tight jeans. Brand new truck and trailer and some cap rival chicks. But if I can only have one thing on my wish list, Santa, won't you bring me a cowgirl for Christmas? I'm so doggone lonely out here punching cows. I used to love to sing a lot, but I need some loving now. 
It's cold and it's December, Santa, please remember me. I'm writing you this letter telling you just what I need. I want a cow for Christmas and skin tight jeans. Brand new truck and trailer and some cap rowl cheeks. But if I can only have one thing on my wish list, Santa, won't you bring me a cow for Christmas? and ride and gut and skin and if she don't mind feeding cows while I'm asleep in it and if her daddy owns a ranch in California and if her mama likes me too well that would be okay Cause I want a cow girl for Christmas and skin tight jeans a brand new truck and trailer and some cap route and cheeks but if I can only have one thing on my wish list Santa won't you bring me Stand underneath that get up, you are just a simple And sure do you get lonely too, just talking to you, reindeer. Santa, I'm a begging you, I'm about to go insane here. I need a cow girl for Christmas in skin tight jeans, brand new truck and trailer, and some cap rowl chinks. But if I can only have one thing on my wish list, Santa, won't you bring me a cow girl for Christmas? Yes, Santa, won't you bring me a cowgirl for Christmas? Ho, ho.